Hi, welcome back to Completely Random. My name is Karen, and uh, today I will be opening up my September Try Treats box, which I guess I don't say that enough, like really when I do these videos, but it's just a once a month subscription box. I went ahead and paid for a full gear, and I think, I don't know, there's different price ranges on there, and to be honest, I don't remember. I think I have the 10, maybe the $10 box, if that's it's just too long ago you're asking me to remember something so let's just uh, let's just see where this box comes from shall we oh oh Amsterdam the Netherlands very cool um, this month's treats come from a country that is widely recognized for its tulips windmills clogs and bicycle culture the Netherlands may be a small country, but it's packed with world-famous icons. Discover cheese markets, masterpieces of old masters, canals of Amsterdam as shown in the front of the postcard, and Delft blue earth earthenware. It's also a well-known fact that more than a quarter of the country is below sea level, and fortunately Dutch people are considered to be the tallest in the world. The Netherlands is famous for its delicious snacks and treats such as Stroop waffle, Bitter Ballon, Hollandaise, um, Nui, Dutch New Herring, uh, Poffertjes, Drop, Hagelslag, and more. To give you a taste of the Netherlands inside your box are carefully hand-picked snacks and sweet treats including the famous Stroop waffles, windmill cookies, and licorice rolls. There's something for everyone in this box and more than enough to share. We hope you enjoy. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited about this one. Let's see. Dutch meat meatballs. I got a recipe for that. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I know, I know, the suspense, the suspense. Um, the first thing it says is the Stroop Waffles by Abitur, uh, the butter lover's favorite. This is what, it, ooh, they're heavy. They feel heavy. Um, absolutely delicious and authentic Dutch Stroop waffles baked with 100% butter to provide that extra rich flavor made from two, two thin layers of baked dough with a um, caramel sauce filling in the middle. These just, they sound good. Every time something sounds good in one of these boxes though, I'm like so disappointed. Right? Oh, gosh, that kind of went everywhere. All right, let's just try one. Okay, so they're kind of soft. I mean, it just, it's like a cookie. Hmm. It's good. I mean, I can taste the caramel. I can taste the butter. I mean, it's good, but it's not like Wow, this is good. It's like, yes, you have a slightly good product here. I don't know. Okay, see, I told you. Like, anytime I think anything is like, man, it's just going to be home run. Mm -mm. But let's move on. Let me kind of. The next item it says is the Sill Black and White Candy Roll by Fortune. I have to find it. Where are you? It's kind of weird. Okay, let's see what these are. These black white tablets are well known licorice candy in Holland. The familiar black powder from a jar processed into a delicious candy with a surprisingly mild salty flavor made for real licorice fans and I bet it's gonna taste like black licorice and that's just not my thing I don't like it hmm all right let's see here let's let's try one of these oh I think I got Oh, I mean, they look like a Pez. Ooh. So 
sorry. I'm just, they also kind of look like a giant pill. And they kind of taste like medicinal. Like, you know how you have that powdery pill and you know there's going to be like a nasty, like powdery, kind of like when you take Mucinex. I don't even know if that's a good comparison, but like that smell. And then once you take it, because you take it with water, you can like taste it. I, I just, this is kind of like what this reminds me of. And I've been, I just got over a cold recently. Uh, yeah, I know. Shut up. Ooh, that is horrible. Oh, God bless, but I can't even take a bite of that. Oh. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I taste the salt, and I don't like a lot of salt. Honestly, I'm at a loss for words on this. I'm so sorry. Bless my heart, right? That's almost like, this should be like a trick candy. Like, oh my gosh, I got these from a Tri Treats box and you really want to try one. They're delicious. And then that person tastes it and they're like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Could be a fun, a fun thing to do. And I, I knew that was going to go bad. I mean, come on. I knew that was going to be bad from the description, from the smell, the texture. We'll just move on now. We'll just, we're going to move on. The next one. Oh. Wilhelmina Mints. Um, named after Queen Wilhelmina. Um, the peppermints are famous for their unique and fresh taste with a royal note. Great as an after-dinner mint or with your morning tea, the portrait of Queen Wilhelmina can be found on each mint tablet. Well, let's let's take a gander at her, shall we? Okay, I love mint. Can't really, well, I say you can't go wrong, but I don't even want to put that out there. I need to take that back immediately. All right. Let's open these up. Oh, I thought they would be like, I almost thought they were going to be like a chocolatey treat or something. But they just look like a giant mint. And they do have like a portrait in there. I can't really see it very well. Yeah, I kind of can. Let's, uh, hmm. I like these a lot. They actually remind me of, um, I mean, they're just really good mints. I want to say remind me of Altoids, but Altoids are so potent that you almost can't eat them. Oh, I know what it reminds me of, and this is going to be like, what is with me in medicine? I know I'm like, chomp, chomp, sorry. Okay. Their flavoring reminds me of the peppermint flavored Tums. And I actually like them. I mean, I don't eat them, obviously, unless I need them. But that's exactly what they taste like. I'm like, this is a, yes, that's, that's definitely it, yeah. I was like, this flavor reminds me of something I've had before. All right, two more. Okay. Say yes, Gouda. Oh, I do not. Gouda? Is that what these are? Bread, bread crisp Gouda cheese. I don't like Gouda cheese. I'm so picky. I'm sorry. An honest snack that is natural as bread, tasty as chips should be. Bringing you the best of both worlds with no artificial flavors and unappetizing additives such as MSG. Mm -mm -mm. Let's open them, shall we? Oh, I can't wait. Gouda. Gosh, really? It says I need a pair of scissors, so I'll just kind of stab it to death to try to 
Let me try to open it. So it just it looks like a bagel crisp, or I mean, I guess that's what it is. Bread. Oh, I'm sorry, a bread crisp. It is to like the Gouda cheese. I bet if you do like Gouda, and you know that you do, not bad. Kind of like a bland cheese it with a Gouda type of like flavor. Yum. But I would rather eat 10 bags of those than half of one of these. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to the last item. They gave me a couple of them here. Um, windmill Cookies by Dutch Bakery. Delicious Dutch spice cookies. Um, speculus. Made using a centuries-old recipe. Baked with real almonds and cinnamon, nutmeg, and a hint of clove. The classic windmill shape and that unique spicy taste will bring back warm memories of days gone by. Okay. I usually really enjoy like, you know, like the windmill cookies from like the little tins that people get. Usually you get them around like um, Christmas time. I don't even know. Looks like they had a windmill shape on it, but. Now that I really, I really enjoy. Cause it just, I mean, that's what it tastes like. It's just one of those windmill, windmill cookies or just a spiced cookie. Very good. Success. We have success. <laughs> Out of everything, this is that. I mean, that's the greatest thing. But I, I but I absolutely love those cookies though. So. That's okay. And the waffle things weren't horrible. Mm, okay. Dum to dum dum dum. So I'm just kidding. That's terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a hot mess. But these weren't bad. I mean, I mean, I'll definitely, um, I'll use them. <laughs> I wish I could say these are Buddha, but they're not good. I know. I tried. I tried. So, all right. All right, the Netherlands. I still want to visit you, though. I would love to go there. Um, the treats, I, a little lackluster, <laughs> I feel like. I always start these out like, okay, I'm not going to be, because I always feel like I'm really, really negative, like very negative. And then I start tasting them and I'm like, gotta be honest. <laughs> you know, just gotta be. Because I'm tasting the stuff. It's going to be written all over my face anyway if I like it. Be like, mmm, those are great. You'd be like, Psh, girl, shut up. So, okay. I mean, you can go online at trytreats.com. And, uh, of course, check them out. Comes in a cute little box. And, you know, sometimes it's, uh, you know, you like things, but it is a chance to kind of step outside of your box of what you're used to eating, etc. And trying something different. So I do enjoy them, even though I usually don't love everything or sometimes majority of the things that are in the box I don't like. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. Try try treats from around the world. All right. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, until next time, peace, love, and hugs.